Who hasn't dreamed of being able to teleport themselves out of a boring situation and onto a tropical paradise in the blink of an eye? Without thinking further about the possible implications of this possibility, it seems like a superpower everyone would want to possess. However, if a technology like this existed, it would likely mean the end of society as we know it. In this video, we will explore an alternate reality and the possible consequences of teletransportation technology. Teletransportation is a concept that is often addressed in science fiction movies, where one is able to change their physical location by simply disappearing and reappearing in a different place. To be on the same page about how our hypothetical teletransportation works, let's lay out a few base assumptions that this video will build on. For creating our scenario, let's assume that teleporting works similarly to making a phone call. It is very cheap, can be done at any time, and requires some kind of affordable device to initiate the process. In addition to that, let's also say that humans can teleport anywhere on Earth by entering the target coordinates, but cannot teleport into space. Our device enables humans to bring with them what they can carry but larger objects cannot be teleported by themselves. All right, now that the ground rules are set, we are ready to carry on with our story. After you're done watching the video, we would love to hear about your thoughts on this topic, so don't forget to share them in a comment after the story ends. Imagine, you're sitting at work, just about to go home, and you're thinking about where you want to watch the sunset today. It's Wednesday, and you remember that Mount Everest usually has a happy hour around 7 p.m. You let a few of your friends know, and a moment later, you are on top of the highest mountain in the world. But guess what? You weren't the only one who wanted to take advantage of the happy hour. There are about a million other people from all around the world. You start chatting with a Spanish girl while you wait for your friends to arrive. Suddenly, the girl gets crushed by a man, appearing out of nowhere, who had his teleportation coordinates set to where she was standing. He politely apologizes for the inconvenience, and the girl quickly teleports herself back to Spain into a hospital to get her broken arm fixed. After a few more minutes of waiting, you get annoyed by the amount of people and check your phone. A new notification is informing you about a volcano eruption in Iceland. You think about checking it out, but you already know that once you get there, it will be at least equally as crowded as here on Mount Everest. As more people arrive, you feel that you actually need some time for yourself right now. You think about where to go and decide that Ethiopia could be a good option. Since teletransportation was invented, countries with poor living conditions have been practically empty. In turn, places with milder climates and better living conditions are flooded with people. Shortly after you arrive in Ethiopia, your friends call you and ask about where you are. They are looking for you on Mount Everest. You decide not to answer. Location sharing has become a real intimacy since the invention of teletransportation. This led to a drastic change of social media, and especially celebrities and politicians have to guard their privacy more than ever before, making their public appearances very rare. As a side effect of that, big events like live concerts or sports matches have become legends of the past. Ever since people have been able to teleport themselves, it has become impossible to host them. Attendees started teleporting themselves into the audience without paying admission or even appeared on stage with the performer at a concert or on the pitch of a football match to take a selfie with their favorite player. Usually, events like this are now held in secret locations and it's only possible to watch their recordings afterwards. The ability to teleport has not only changed people's lives, it also changed where they live them. The thing that has previously attracted people to live in cities was that they were a place where job opportunities, a buzzing social life, restaurants, nightlife, culture, and so many other things were accessible within a small radius. Now that distance is not really an issue anymore, the importance of cities has changed drastically. People now prefer to live in the more exciting places, such as along the coast or in the mountains. This preference has led to these areas becoming increasingly urbanized and triggered a rapid decline in population of once popular cities. In the age of teletransportation, cities are most often used as hubs for doing business or running errands. You think back to your parents, who used to own an apartment in New York. What a nice time that must have been. Private property has become a complicated topic, as anyone can just appear in your living room out of nowhere. 
Those who can afford to protect their homes install heavy security systems and hire guards to get rid of intruders. But the majority of people just try to find a vacant home and hope that they can manage to stay there without any conflicts. You teleport yourself back to your usual apartment in Paris. It's small and inconspicuous. This way, it's less likely for other people to try it out for themselves. Today, you're unlucky, as a Chinese man suddenly appears on your couch. Thankfully, he's not looking for any trouble and quickly disappears after mumbling something which might have been an apology in Chinese. You turn on your TV at dinner and switch to the news channel. They are announcing that the Beijing Olympic Stadium finally found its new purpose after having been abandoned due to the lack of sporting events. The Chinese government wants to reuse the stadium's materials and turn it into the world's most thrilling roller coaster. In other news, the global crime rate has reached its peak for the 20th consecutive year. Given the impossibility of legal punishment, criminal activity has skyrocketed ever since the invention of teletransportation. Again, your thoughts wander off to dream about the tranquil life that your ancestors lived. Countries were protected by immigration checks. Airport security prevented people from traveling with dangerous goods, and in most places, it wasn't even possible to get your hands on a gun. Given the insecurity of today's everyday life, now almost everyone is armed when they go out in public, and even at home. Suddenly, you are torn from your thoughts as your phone rings. It's your boss telling you that your employer's company has run out of business and you no longer have a job. As you have been expecting this call for a while now, you're not particularly surprised by the announcement. Teletransportation has caused massive shifts in the global economy, which has led to all-time highs of global unemployment and uneven wealth distribution. The travel industry, for example, barely exists anymore. The demand for cars has become so little that the market has consolidated to only a handful of manufacturers. Even retail had to be reinvented as people would never pay for the items they got. Normal stores with employees like they once existed are just not sustainable anymore. Nowadays, all shopping is done through a concept similar to vending machines. The difference is that these vending machines are as big as buildings and contain all kinds of items, from basic things like clothing or cleaning supplies to more sophisticated items such as furniture or luxury cars. These stores are heavily protected so that people are unable to teleport themselves to the inside and steal the items. If someone was to try that, the security mechanism would instantly kill them. You take a few seconds to think about your unemployment, but realize that you're not very worried about your future. Your early investments into weapons and security stocks have made you enough money to get through more than a few years without a salary. You want to talk to your friends to figure out how you'll spend all that newfound free time. It appears that they're currently in a snowball fight on the North Pole, so you quickly teleport yourself there. Unfortunately, you are unlucky with setting your coordinates and land right in front of a hungry polar bear that starts chasing you right away. As you start running, you type some random coordinates into your teletransportation device. Usually, this is something you should never do, as you could literally end up anywhere. There are lots of urban legends of people who have died because of random or wrong coordinates. Your favorite tale is the one about the man who was killed after landing in the mouth of a hungry shark. You get lucky with your coordinates and land in a university classroom. Since you have nothing better to do, you decide to stay. The professor is in the middle of explaining to the students that it will be their responsibility to solve the big problems of our time. The previous generation had to find a solution to climate change, which has finally been accomplished through the invention of teletransportation. The resulting reduction of carbon emissions has saved the planet. Now, the planet needs to be saved again from teletransportation. The professor's face goes grim as he says that humankind is in danger and can only be saved if science manages to find a way to protect spaces from teleporting into them. If a solution will not be found within the next decade, the increasing crime rate and political instabilities will most likely mean the end of modern society. Shocked by what you just learned, you teleport yourself back to your home and can't stop thinking about the words of the professor. Is it really true that this groundbreaking technology could mean the end for us all? Take a moment to reflect and let us know in the comment section if you think the world could really look like this if we were able to teleport ourselves around.
We hope that you loved this video. If you did, please show your support by leaving a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see similar videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time.